everybody. Welcome to your weekly dose at home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today, I am inside the African rainforest habitat visiting our chameleons, two-year-old Neo and two-year-old Trinity. You can actually see Neo right behind me. What is a chameleon? Let's start there today. Chameleons are lizards, members of the family Chameleonidae. And these incredible critters are found all throughout some of the warmer parts of our planet, including most of Africa, Madagascar, some parts of Sri Lanka, and even some parts of Southern Europe. The panther chameleons who live here at the Calgary Zoo are native to Madagascar, that amazing island which is also home to the lemurs who live here at the Calgary Zoo. Madagascar is what we call a biodiversity hotspot. We've learned that term before. And that means there is an incredible diversity of animal and plant life living in that island. And chameleons are no exception. There are over 200 different species of chameleon on our planet. Now, what makes chameleons most famous are their colors. Today, we're gonna explore chameleon color a little bit more in detail we're gonna dispute some of the myths about colors that are out there. If you've ever seen an animated chameleon before, you might have seen them do crazy cool things where they walk across a chessboard and become black and white checkered, or they go from one flower to another, changing colors at the speed of light to blend in. That's super cool, but that only happens in animation. True chameleons don't change their colors either that quickly or to all kinds of crazy non-natural patterns. A chameleon can only adjust its colors within a certain range, and they're usually more indicative of things like their mood or behavior changes or mating. So we can see Neo right behind me. Right now he's a primarily green color. You see that green when there's things that are content and relaxed, and he can actually change his color spectrum a little bit based on if he's looking to mate or based on other environmental factors going around them. You'll see Trinity, she's a little bit more of a muted color. And this is really typical where female chameleons are more of those browns, tans, pinks than the males, which are bright and showy. If you remember watching our peacock daily dose at home, we learned what this was called. It's called sexual dimorphism. That means the males and females look different. So primarily it is the males who have the bright showy colors. Now Neo can shift to kind of those oranges, yellows. Those are the colors that this panther chameleon species can shift to. But how does he do that? It's not actually as simple as turning on a switch where the pigment colors shift and different things happen. It's actually really, really cool science. Chameleons have different layers of their skin and underneath they have this amazing lattice work of what we call guanine nanocrystals. This is a cell structure that can actually change. So what the chameleon can do is change how far apart or how close together those nanocrystals are. What that does is it changes how the chameleon body reflects light wavelengths. Light is really cool and based on the material or the pigment in that chameleon's skin and the length between those nanocrystals, he can shift his colors between the green content color that we see here to a really brilliant orange. Isn't that cool? Chameleon skin colors aren't the only amazing example of sexual dimorphism or color in chameleons. They also have glow in the dark bones. It's called a type of bioluminescence and many male species can actually fluoresce under UV light. You can see the bones through their skin. They light up this brilliant blue. So it's highly likely that female chameleons can actually see light in the UV spectrum. This is not something that we as humans can see. So there's all kinds of hidden secrets going on in the animal kingdom that we don't even know about. Isn't that amazing? Thank you so much for exploring a little bit more about chameleons and their colors with me here on the Weekly Dose at home. Now today for your at home activity, we've given you a colorful activity page to see what kinds of chameleon colors you can find in your home and environment. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of the Weekly Dose at Home. Catch you on the next one. And thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.